Hoping to fulfill a campaign promise before he leaves office next year, President Barack Obama presented a long-shot plan on Tuesday to Congress to close the U.S. military prison at Guantanamo Bay. Obama sought to buttress the argument for closing the prison by focusing on its high cost. It's counterproductive to our fight against terrorists because they use it as propaganda in their efforts to recruit. It drains military resources. With nearly $450 million spent last year alone to keep it running, and more than $200 million in additional costs needed to keep it open going forward, for less than 100 detainees. The plan endures by the Pentagon proposes 13 potential sites on U.S. soil to hold some 30 to 60 detainees in maximum security prisons. However, it does not say where the administration would put the detainees ineligible for transfers inside the United States. The Democratic president pressed the Republican-led Congress to give his proposal a fair hearing and said he did not want to pass the issue to his successor in January next year. Republicans say Obama has yet to convince Americans that moving the prisoners to the U.S. is smart or safe. The Guantanamo prisoners were rounded up overseas when the United States became embroiled in wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Most detainees have been held without trial for more than a decade.